So this will be video two of game one, and here's Tom with with the with the update. Here is Vince Coleman just walked, and we're gonna he's gonna try to steal. Here we go. All right, so we got Vince Coleman on with two outs. Obviously, we have to steal. Also, with Coleman getting on, uh, we are one base runner away from getting Clemens fatigued. He is almost fatigued right now. Paul is staying with him at the moment. But let's see what kind of jump Coleman can get. Uh, for any of the fans out there, we made new charts for this kind of stuff. So it is what it is. All right, so Coleman, last time was picked off, by the way. Not good. And look, he's got a suicide lead here, if anybody can see the board. All right, so let's see. We got an excellent hold. Can you see Coleman. the board? Not really. All right, excellent hold. Sorry. Coleman. Sorry, attempted... guys. We got to work on these camera angles. Coleman attempting to steal. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got a 502 with a six jump on an excellent hold. Okay, so Coleman gets what we're calling a bad jump, which means he's gonna subtract one from his steal, but- It's more like right here. But we still have a four trying to steal. What's your catcher's throwing rating? Negative three? Your catcher's a negative three? That's insane. No. TH? Yeah. Shh. Gedman's that good, huh? Damn, dude. Wow. All right, so uh, this is becoming a chore now. <laughs> it's not good. Not good. And I can't find a stealing truck, so I don't know what the heck happened to it. We may have to wing it. What the heck did I do with that thing? Here it is. All right, so he's in negative three, so Coleman because of the bad jump is reduced to a four and now because of the because of the great arm he's reduced to a one so now he really needs to get his wheels on to get this base stolen it's certainly still possible we'll see what happens all right coleman trying to steal gedman trying to throw him out we've got an 88 on the roll and so this is a one trying to steal and the high rolls are the stolen bases and so that's a stolen base coleman gets in there ahead of the throw we have a stolen base. We're going to continue live because now we have a runner at second with Ozzie Smith up. So let's see what happens. Can we tie this ball game? Okay. <clears throat> Ozzie Smith facing Roger Clemens. 768. It sounds like no drama, but let's see what, it, what, what, what the chart says. 768 is... Right-handed or left-handed? He's batting lefty. 768 is a base hit to center field. Smith gets a base hit to center field. Is it a liner or is it a is it a ground grounder, ball? Grounder. Grounder. Okay. Well, actually, it's an even number anyway. So it's an even number. And so that Coleman's going to score. So this play worked for the Cardinals. Smith is on first. The Cardinals have tied the game. We might as well stay live with this. Because of Gedman's great arm, we're not going to try and steal with uh, with Ozzy. We're just going to hope I'm, that Willie. I'm begins. warming up uh, Sh Shirardi and Stewart. Yep, and we have now fatigued. We have now fatigued Clemens, so he's going to have to use his fatigue rating for the rest of this for the rest of the uh, game that he stays in. So let's see what happens. McGee up. McGee with a 3.42 against the righty still. 342 and McGee strikes out in a clutch situation. Uh, he is a terror in the clutch, but uh, Roger Clemens is also uh, great in the jam. So McGee strikes out, but the Cardinals do tie the game, and we'll be back for more.